I'm going to create a custom submenu. It's trickier to do this because with the menu widget, of course, all the interactions are built in. So when you hover over the parent item, the submenu appears and then it disappears when you hover off. We need to put those interactions in ourselves. So let's create our submenu first. I'm not going to bother styling it differently for the submenu uh, because that's not the purpose of this video. Um, so if you want to give it a new style, you certainly can do that. But for now, we're going to keep the style the same. Always preview it as you go along. So if I go to preview, okay, we can see that the submenu is there. Problem being that it needs to hide when you load the page. So this is the first interaction we need. I'll just select one of these. It doesn't matter what you put this interaction on. It's an onload. I'll just do it on the submenu uh, item itself. We'll click on new interaction in the interactions pane um, and scroll down to the bottom and we've got on load. And the widget actions, the first option is show or hide. And then you get to choose which widget. So we can choose this widget because it's the one that's being affected. But all of our other interactions, we're going to have to be naming it. So I might as well do that right now. So I just choose for sure, select hide. You can choose animations, so fading in and out. Um, you can also pull widgets, which means you move everything up. Not an issue in this case, and we'll show you more of that in future videos. So I'm just going to choose hide. So we've hidden the foreshore. We need to hide wildlife. Rather than add this to the other widget, I'm just going to add. You see how we've got add target? It means we can have one interaction affecting multiple widgets. So I've chosen add target. Let's choose wildlife hide, OK, and so it's on load going to hide both of those. Let's test it. Test it each time you add things, that way you can see where things break. If you wait until the very end, you don't know what's breaking things and what's not. OK, so that's working. Now we need to show it when we hover over beach. So I need to make this the target of the, make this the interaction element itself. I select that new interaction and now we're choosing on mouse enter okay so on mouse enter again show hide and we choose for sure and wildlife this time we're choosing show okay add target to choose the other one show okay so we're going to preview this and test it out okay it's hidden on load hover over and it shows it now the next thing we need to do is when we hover out have it hidden. What you do not want to do is add that to the beach itself because if we say on mouse exit, hide them, what happens when we scroll down to these items where well, we've exited the beach? It's actually going to hide them again and you can't have it, you know, it gets really complicated if you try to then add scripts to these to prevent that happening. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to be a bit sneaky. I'm going to drag a box over here. This is going to be uh, what is affected. So we can see that our rectangle is here. So I'm just going to call this hidden box. Um, and I need to drag it underneath the rest of our menu. So that sits behind it. And we're going to put the interaction on this. So new interaction on mouse enter. Because what happens is the mouse hasn't entered this if it's on something else here. Um, so basically it's going to say when we enter into this we need to hide these two. So show hide and again we're choosing our for sure, we're choosing hide OK, add a target, we're choosing wildlife, hide OK. Let's test this and see if it works. Okay, aside from that ugly grey box there, it's fine at the moment. Nothing happening when I'm hovering. When I hover that, it shows. And look, I can put my mouse all over those. But once it leaves that, it hides it again. Fantastic. So the last thing I need is to actually hide my hidden box by going to Style, Fill, No Fill, Border, No Border. 
let's test this again. So now I've got my menu there. I hover over beach, it shows my submenu and it stays up until I leave both beach and submenu or beach or make, make sure that it's keeping the submenu up there anyway. Okay, so that shows you how you can do a custom submenu. Thank you.